start by having you tell us a little bit about how you developed into a feminist, about the evolution of your feminism. Well, uh, you know, I, I guess I would say I was a person who fits Abby Stewart's theories of the kind of coming of age, you know, it, what is happening at the time you come of age becomes this kind of stamp of, of who you are and you carry it forward and I was, you know, came of age um, in the 60s, mm -hmm. was involved in being in Chicago in the tail end of, of civil rights mm -hmm. stuff, I mean not like it's over but that particular, uh, and then uh, in anti-war stuff, okay. um, which continued when I went to graduate school um, okay. in in Connecticut, okay. and didn't really get involved in feminism, with one big exception that I'm going to say in a minute, um, uh, until I got to Swarthmore, and actually Ken Gergen asked me if I would teach a psychology of women course. Wow. You know, no women in the department, no gender courses in the whole college, mm -hmm. almost no women in the whole college. Mm -hmm. And I said yes. I mean, you don't say no to, <laughs> to your chair. When he's, yeah. uh, and, and I would say that I, you know, became a feminist or got into the literature, of which there was very little, on psychology of women, psychology and gender, feminist psychology. Uh -huh. um, you know, with my students through teaching that course. Right. I mean, right. the first course time I taught it, I didn't teach it. I just right. was there with, yeah. um, um, with the students in it. Um, the exception that I wanted to talk about, so I don't have to go in back and put it in later, yeah. is that um, one of my undergraduate mentors, not in feminist psychology, um, she was my perception teacher, was Naomi Weistein. Really? And um, and yeah. No, no, undergraduate, undergraduate. in Chicago, in Chicago. Uh, and you know Naomi was um, I mean, like I was a working class kid who didn't know anything and didn't know you could you know talk to your teachers you know and that they had personal lives you know like if you saw your teacher in the supermarket it was like wow you know <laughs> <laughs> um, and and you know but but Naomi was obviously very politically involved mostly then in anti war stuff okay. and other political stuff. Um, and you know she was she was incredibly inspiring. Yeah. Um, and she you know she sort of acted out her feminism. Right. Um, was this around the time that she was involved in the Chicago Women's Liberation Union? And, and the band? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. The band may have been a little bit after yeah. that, or you 